Mm. I'm Dave Arnold, the Director of Culinary Technology at the French Culinary Institute, and we're here at my home kitchen in Manhattan to demonstrate a technique I developed for the EC Gourmet Whip Plus series of cream whippers. And they come in different sizes and types. This is a half liter model. All of the recipes I'm gonna to do today are written for the half liter model. Uh, this is a thermo whip. This actually, even though it looks bigger, also only holds a uh, half liter. This is really good for hot and cold preps. You need to keep hot and cold in the kitchen. And this is a one liter model. In short, what the technique is of rapid infusion is we put any porous product, anything, spices, herbs, citrus peel, whatever, anything porous in, along with a liquid, we charge it. When we charge it, the pressure forces the liquid into, the, into your product, right? And also the gas, the nitrous, goes into the product. And then we vent it very quickly and it boils out of the product, bringing all the flavor with it. So it's a very rapid way to infuse, uh, you know, to infuse liquors or to infuse oils in your kitchen without a lot of equipment and without spending a lot of time. So we're gonna use the EC Rapid Infusion Technique to make a jalapeno tequila. And uh, we're just gonna take 30 grams of peeled uh, deveined sliced jalapenos and 500 mils of your favorite uh, Blanco tequila and we're gonna put the funnel into our whipped cream maker throw in the jalapenos pour in the tequila now the advantage of this technique over a normal infusion of hot peppers is that the heat is gonna be infused into the tequila, but you're also gonna get a lot of the pepper taste. Normally, when you do a long-term infusion, you get a lot of the heat, but not a lot of the actual flavor of the pepper. So this is really gonna put the flavor of the pepper in as well as the heat. Charger one. Swirl it. Charger two, swirl it. This one you're only gonna wanna let sit about one minute, otherwise you're really gonna build the heat on it. You want this to sit for about one minute. Now we're just gonna cover and vent. This one I can pour out right away, it's already spicy enough. Should you be a fan of tequila flavored jalapenos, these are also good. But right now we're trying to make the liquor. And you can see it's bubbling, so the flavor is gonna build as these bubbles start to dissipate. So you're gonna wanna wait about five, 10 minutes before you use it. So I'm making an infusion, a rapid infusion of cocoa nibs in vodka. So we have uh, 75 grams of Valrona cocoa nibs. And the cocoa nibs have to be super high quality for this, otherwise it tastes really, really bad. So you have to make sure you use a cocoa nib whose taste you like. We have 500 uh, milliliters of vodka, and we're gonna use two cream chargers for this recipe. It's very simple, just put in the cocoa nibs. EC makes this funnel, which makes it easy to get stuff in and out, which I kind of like. Uh, then we're gonna put in 500 milliliters of warm vodka. Don't have it be cold. We're gonna be using the fact that it's warm to make it bubble out a lot, and that's what's gonna give us some of the flavor. If you use a cold vodka, you're not gonna get as good a flavor. Close your whipper down. This recipe's gonna take two chargers. So you put on the first one. Here it go in. Give it a little swirl, make sure that we're getting it into the alcohol, the nitrous gets into the alcohol. Second charger. And we're gonna wanna let this go, so we're gonna swirl it for about 30 seconds, I'd say. And then we're gonna let it rest for a minute and a half total, right? And in that time, what's happening here is the pressure from the nitrous is forcing the vodka into the cocoa nibs, right? Because cocoa nibs are porous. That's why we used cocoa nibs for this recipe, right? Then when we're done and we vent it, all of that liquid's gonna bubble out again and it's gonna make a very, very rapid infusion. What's interesting about this kind of infusion as opposed to a longer term infusion of cocoa 
uh, cocoa nibs is that very little of the bitterness is going to come out in this very short infusion time. So we're going to have something that's very chocolatey, but it's not going to need a lot of sugar to make it taste good. So we've waited about a minute and a half. This thing is ready to vent out now. You want to vent it as quickly as possible so that all the bubbles form and take all the flavor out of the cocoa nibs. You're also going to want to have a container nearby because there's a good chance it's going to spray out. You're going to want to hold the container like this when you vent it so that it's going to catch anything that sprays out. Oh, see that? Then after it starts venting, you want to catch it. You don't want to lose anything, right? And you can see that it's still bubbling. You're going to want to let the bubbles settle down a little bit because that's what's bringing the flavor out. So just let it settle for, for a minute with, the, with it still bubbling. And then we're going to strain it. You can use these infusions right away, but a lot of people have noticed that the flavor actually improves and intensifies over the first couple of minutes. Let's strain it. It's a little cloudy now. It's going to stay cloudy like this, you can filter it through a coffee filter to make it a little bit clearer. Or if you just let it sit for 20 or 30 minutes, it's going to settle down and you can pour stuff off the top. But you can use it basically as is. And if you taste the nibs that you started with, all that's left in them is the, is the bitter flavor. Almost all the great chocolate flavor is gone. It's all in here. So we have our cocoa nib infusion. We're going to make a really, really simple cocktail with it. The great thing about this infusion is you don't need to add a lot of sugar. Even though it's chocolate, we can make a drink with a very, very, very small amount of sugar. So just simply we're going to add a couple of ice cubes to our, uh, to our cup here. And it's also really smooth, so it doesn't need a lot of watering down. We're not going to shake it. We're not going to stir it for a long time. We're just going to build it in a glass. Uh, add a tiny bit of agave syrup. Again, just a little bit. You really don't need much sweetness for this at all. It's almost you know, like a martini in terms of dryness, just a tiny bit of sweetness to round it out. Then we're going to pour in our infusion. Another secret, I'm going to add a tiny pinch of salt, which is just going to pop the flavor out. It's not going to make it taste salty. You don't want it to taste salty. You just want a little, little bit. Stir up to get the agave in. And uh, a lot of people disagree with me on this, but I like a little lemon in it. It's a trick I learned from my wife who lived in Germany and used to eat uh, chocolate, uh, ice cream, and lemon sorbet together. That was what they, they used to do. And so that's it. Very simple. Very delicious.